and here we are at Kid Fest! We're Sky and Garrett, and we've been chasing festivals all throughout Europe. Today, we're going to Ghent Fest in Ghent, Belgium. It's a 10-day festival, and the craziest part is all of the performances on the street are absolutely free. Okay, it's day one in Ghent, Yay! and we're super excited because we're heading over right now to the Ghent Festival. Now, it's been really interesting because I've been telling a bunch of people all throughout Europe that we're going to this festival, and nobody really seems to understand what it is. But, what is Ghent Fest? <laughs> but, the, the host of our B&B was actually really excited for this festival. And also last night, it was a Wednesday night and people were out partying in the middle of the street in this little suburban area until 3 a.m. So clearly there's something going on and clearly this party is going to be awesome. I'm really excited to go check this out and learn a little bit more about the festival. Here we go. Here we go. I'm so excited. New country, new day. Let's do this. It's only 3 p.m. and the street is so crowded. Everybody's going to get pissed. I know we're in Belgium because this train is full of the smell of fries. So good. I feel like I'm going to a sporting event in San Francisco. Yeah, the whole bus is emptying out right now, or a train. So for Genfest, the center of the old town part of Ghent is all closed down for trams, cars, everything. So it's just foot traffic. So we're about to enter that area. Let's go see. There's music and activity everywhere. And it's an amazing variety of different types of performances. Everything from puppet shows to cheerleading teams to bands to just your regular musical performances. this really cool uh, traditional folk dance event and they're actually asking for participant participants but it's all in Flemish? Dutch? Dutch? Yeah. So we can't really understand any of the instructions but it's really cool to watch. <laughs> about this procession unfolding in front of us. So apparently it's a reenactment. 500 years ago, the Spanish occupied the Flanders region. The people of Ghent and Belgians uprose against the Spaniards and basically were punished for it and had to walk barefoot with the nooses around their necks like this procession. That's why everyone's wearing these nooses around their neck. Yeah, yeah, reclaiming their identity and like, yeah, owning it. You can find something new around every corner. I mean, we just turned the corner and found this whole arcade slash carnival section. It's amazing. are so nice. They're completely baffled as to why we're here <laughs> as Americans, but they've been so helpful in teaching us all of the little like uh, highlight events in this place. The 
And don't forget, you're in Belgium, so of course you have to indulge in some of the Belgian fries and Belgian waffles throughout the time you're here. Just like any other music festival, you can walk around with your beers all over the place. Don't worry, this one's plastic. You'll have a chance. Apparently, if I throw this cup into that bucket, I can win an elephant hat. I can't believe that these people party for 10 days at this festival. It's kind of insane. As you can see behind me, it's already 12 o'clock at night, and people are still rolling right into the festival to start the party. so much activity and so much entertainment. There's no way you can't possibly have an amazing time. Looking forward to seeing you here next year.